If you're not digesting and absorbing your food, it doesn't matter how healthy and organic you eat, you're not going to benefit from nutrients and heal your body. In this video, you'll learn the three key vital digestive secretions and five reasons why you may need to take digestive enzymes and hydrochloric acid. Plus, you'll learn what to look for in a supplement that will make a big difference in your digestive health. Welcome to the Ask Dr. Khan Show, where you're just one video away from feeling and being your best. I'm Dr. Peter Khan, board certified chiropractic neurologist and functional medicine doc. Now, digestion is a vital process in the human body, ensuring that you obtain nutrients and energy from your food. Now, you put a lot of effort into finding the right diet, buying organic, perfecting your macronutrient intake. Now, that's all well and good, unless you're not digesting and absorbing all the healthy food that you're eating. You are what you eat, but more importantly, you are what you absorb. Now, central to this process are a trio of key digestive secretions, stomach acid, pancreatic enzymes, and bile. Each of these secretions have a unique job to do to help you break down different types of nutrients. Digestion works from north to south. So your stomach is one of the highest part of your anatomy when it comes to digestion. Stomach produces stomach acid, which is a key vital digestive secretion. It helps you to break down protein. It's the beginning point of breaking down protein. And then also help you to absorb minerals, such as calcium and magnesium. A lot of people are taking calcium supplement to help with osteoporosis, but they're also taking antacids or other stomach acid inhibiting medications like omeprazole. When you decrease stomach acid production, you compromise your ability to absorb calcium. So therefore the calcium that you take to help with your bone is not gonna help you if you have stomach acid problems. Now the stomach acid also is really important to help you neutralize pathogens. It's one of the first line of defense. The acid, kind of like a cauldron of acid that help you to basically break down pathogen and, and kill them so that you don't get gut infections. Now, stomach acid also is important to trigger the release of pancreatic enzymes and bile release from the gallbladder more downstream. Like I said, digestion goes from north to south. Stomach is in a higher position than the pancreas and the gallbladder. So this acid is gonna trigger the rest of your digestive process. Very important. The next Digestive secretion is pancreatic enzymes. Your pancreas produces enzymes such as lipase, protease, and amylase to help you to break down protein, fats, and carbs, as well as break down fiber so they become more digestible. Protein needs to be broken down into individual amino acids before they can be absorbed. Fats need to be broken down into essential fatty acids or different kinds of fatty acids, such as omega-3s and omega-9s. And then carbohydrates, complex carbs are broken down into simple sugars such as glucose so your body can use it for fuel. So pancreatic enzyme is vitally important to help you to break down the nutrient to prepare for intestinal absorption. Lastly is bile. Bile is produced in the liver, secreted into the gallbladder, and with vagus nerve control in the presence of fat, the gallbladder contract and squirt the bile into your digestive tract to help you to emulsify fat nutrients. These fatty nutrients include fat-soluble vitamins such as vitamin A, D, E, and K, as well as help you to absorb fat nutrients such as essential fatty acids, such as from omega-3 fatty acids, such as from olive oil, and so forth. The bile is also important not just with nutrient absorption, it's also important in detoxification. It's one of the main constituents that help you to detoxify hormones, and also, all these digestive secretions, once they mix with food, that creates this composition and pH of your food that when it gets to the colon, it's gonna to help to support your gut microbiome health. So without proper stomach acid, without the enzymes, without bile, your gut microbiome doesn't get the proper secretions and they're not gonna survive and thrive. But as we age, our body's ability to produce these essential digestive secretions can decline due to a variety of reasons, potentially leading to a range of digestive issues. Now here are five important reasons why your digestive secretions may not be up to par and needing supplemental digestive support. Now here are the top five reasons why your digestive secretions may not be up to par and you may need digestive support. Starting from stomach acid, now, the, we used to think that with aging, 
we just don't make enough stomach acid. And the study shows that is that not actually aging itself per se, but rather gastric lining atrophy. Because your gastric lining contains parietal cells, and these parietal cells in your stomach lining actually produce the stomach acid. So if your stomach lining atrophies, then you're not going to be able to produce enough stomach acid. And the gastric lining atrophy can be caused by H. pylori infection. H. pylori is a bacteria that can infect the stomach. They can burrow themselves into the gastric lining and inhibit gastric acid production. About 50% of the world population have H. pylori or is a carrier of H. pylori. But not 50% of the world population all have heartburn, reflux, or ulcer, which H. pylori can definitely cause. Okay, so a lot of people are asymptomatic carriers, but even in that asymptomatic state, it may start to impact your ability to produce stomach acid. Next is gastritis. If you have any type of chronic inflammation of the gastric lining, that can cause gastric lining atrophy, and this could be caused by autoimmune disease, where you may have pernicious anemia, you may have autoimmune antibody to the parietal cells that can compromise your ability to produce stomach acid. Inflammation can also come from just the food that you eat, a poor diet, or even stress, which can impact vagus nerve. Remember, vagus nerve is the nerve innervation that triggers these digestive secretions. So these are reasons why you may have decreased stomach acid production. Now, there's another thing in addition to stomach acid, it's called pepsin. Pepsin is an enzyme produced specifically in the stomach rather than the pancreas. Pepsin is an enzyme that helps you to digest protein. Now, it is shown in studies that pepsin production can decrease by 40% as we age. So again, that's another aspect of aging that can impact our stomach acid secretion. Now, the next is pancreatic enzyme. Now, there's a condition called exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, EPI. This is a condition where your pancreas don't produce enough enzyme to a severe degree and therefore cause severe malabsorption. Now, this is typically caused by pancreatitis or pancreatic tumors. This is actually a rare condition. People with EPI would definitely need to take digestive enzymes, either in a prescriptive form or from natural supplement to help them to digest or they're gonna have major malabsorption problems. However, in my functional medicine practice where I've helped over 6,000 patients overcome their chronic conditions, it is not EPI but a chronic suboptimal release of pancreatic enzyme that's causing problems, leading to chronic health problems. In one study, pancreatic enzyme secretion was measured in 180 normal control patients, free of abdominal and pancreatic disease, aged from 16 to 83 years old. Duodenal juice was collected after a single IV injection of secretin and cholecystokinin. Now, all the enzymes that were studied linearly decreased in concentration as well as in output with age, starting from the third decade of life. So it is clear that our capacity to digest food starts to decline as we age. Pancreatic enzyme secretion can decrease as part of aging, and that can start as early as the 30s. Chronic inflammation due to poor diet, lifestyle, alcohol intake, Excessive alcohol intake and other inflammatory triggers can also decrease pancreatic enzyme production. Blood sugar imbalance can also do that as well. The reason is because pancreas produce insulin as well as pancreatic enzymes. People with chronic blood sugar dysfunction, especially people with diabetes, where they're constantly pumping out insulin to an excessive amount, can stress and fatigue the pancreas so that it may compromise its ability to make pancreatic enzyme due to blood sugar imbalance. And then again, vagus nerve, right? Vagus nerve is the starting point of digestion where it innervates all the digestive organs. So vagus nerve dysfunction due to stress or sympathetic dominance can also cause pancreatic enzyme decrease. Next is bile flow and bile production. Now bile is produced in the liver, stored in the gallbladder, and then is secreted into your GI tract with vagus nerve stimulation. Decreased bile flow can lead to gallstones, and gallstones and gallbladder attack tend to peak around the fourth decade of life, especially among females who are still having menstrual cycle, which highlights the importance of bile and hormone function. 
decreased bile flow or decreased bile production can be caused by aging. Animal studies and various studies show that bile production does decrease with aging, as well as environmental toxin exposure, which can actually stress the bile because bile is used to help you detox. When you're expo exposed to a lot of environmental toxins, the bile can become sludgy. When it becomes sludgy, then stones can precipitate out of the sludgy bile. Poor diet, such as eating a lot of fried food or just the standard American diet, can also cause bile problems. Oral contraceptive, taking birth control pill. Again, hormones are going to be primarily dealt with by bile to help you to eliminate them. So if you're adding excess hormone through oral contraceptive or from environmental toxins that mimic hormone, that's all going to stress bile flow. And lastly, vagus nerve production, uh, vagus nerve stimulation can also uh, stimulate bile flow and therefore lack of vagus nerve stimulation can decrease bile flow. Now, the fourth reason why you may need digestive support is food sensitivity reactions. So the way it works is that normally dietary proteins are broken down by stomach acid, pepsin, and pancreatic enzymes so that these dietary proteins are broken down to individual amino acids. And then that amino acid is absorbed through your GI tract, through your bloodstream, and the amino acids reconstitute it in wherever the body needs it back into proteins so that you can heal your body and make new tissues. Now, if you have lack of stomach acid production, lack of enzyme production, then these dietary protein doesn't get completely broken down. And if you also have leaky gut, then these dietary protein can leak out of the leaky gut into your bloodstream. When your immune system is exposed to these dietary protein, it says, oh my gosh, these proteins are not supposed to be here. They're supposed to be broken down into amino acids, but now I'm seeing intact protein, so that can complex and create an immune system reaction now you produce antibody to that food, now you have food sensitivity. So taking enzymes or stomach acid support can help you to break down these dietary protein, thereby reducing the probability you're going to have food reactions. Lastly is mitigating SIBO. SIBO stands for small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. This is where bacteria is ending up in a spot where it's not supposed to be. Remember, in your colon, you have a lot of bacteria in a large intestine. That's where the poop is. That's where you have the gut microbiome. But in a small intestine, it should be relatively sterile. You should not have a lot of bacteria there. However, if you have bacteria in the small intestine, and you also don't have enough enzymes and stomach acid to break down the food, then these food that's not completely broken down meets the bacteria in a spot that's not supposed to be in the small intestine. The bacteria can start to ferment against that. Typically, this is going to be against different types of fibers, especially FODMAP fibers. FODMAP are special types of carbs and fiber and roughages that kind of feeds the small intestinal bacteria, thereby creating a lot of gas and bloating and IBS symptoms. So taking enzymes and stomach acid can help you to neutralize the pathogen. Remember, stomach acid helps you to neutralize pathogens, the first line of defense against pathogens. So having good stomach acid can reduce the amount of bacteria in the small intestine, while breaking down the fiber and the FODMAP with enzymes can reduce the, the food that you're feeding the small intestine, thereby improving SIBO symptoms. So how do you choose the right supplements? Selecting a high quality, appropriate supplement is crucial for effective results. Now that you know the three important digestive secretions and top five reasons why you need them, you'll want to make sure that your digestive supplement contains all the ingredients that will support these key areas. Now the ingredients to look for include betaine hydrochloric acid, which is a natural substance that supports the normal acidity of the stomach required for good protein and mineral absorption, as well as helping to neutralize pathogens with the acid. You also want pepsin, which is an enzyme produced in the stomach that helps with protein digestion, which has been shown to be reduced by 40% as we age. Next, you want a combination of pancreatic enzymes to help you break down protein, fats, and carbs, including tough to digest fibers, and even lactose from milk. These enzymes include lipase, peptidase, amylase, glucoamylase, invertase, and lactase. Lastly, you want to support bile function. Ox bile has been traditionally used to support the body's fat emulsification and fat nutrient absorption. 
And this is why I use Enzyme HCL Plus. This is a comprehensive digestive support that supports all three of the important digestive secretions, stomach acid, pancreatic enzymes, and bile support. It includes all of the ingredients that you will want in a perfect digestive support supplement. The pepsin used in this product is in the form of DPP-4, which stands for dipeptidopeptidase 4 enzyme. This unique form of enzyme has the ability to break down gluten protein found in wheat and casein protein found in cow's milk, which may help those with gluten and casein sensitivity. Now, incorporating supplements into a daily regimen can optimize their benefits, but it's important to follow best practices and recommended dosages. It's best to take Enzyme HCL Plus around meal time. Now, you can take it 15 minutes before a meal, you can take it during the meal, you can even take it 15 minutes after the meal and get the benefits. It's more important that you just take it consistently around meal time than to worry about exactly how many minutes to take it before or after a meal. Remember, it's not just about helping with digestion of protein, fats, and carbs. It's also helping to reduce dietary protein exposure from leaky gut, which leads to food sensitivities, and also help to reduce SIBO symptoms if you have them. So take Enzyme HCL Plus with every meal, especially with a protein-containing meal. Now, the recommended starting dosage is two capsules per meal. However, for someone with more severe enzyme and stomach acid deficiency, higher dosage may be needed to experience improvement. Now, it's not uncommon for my patients to take four to six capsules or even higher per meal, depending on what's needed to get results. So you may want to experiment with different dosages to see what works for you. Now, let's talk about some potential reactions and considerations. While supplementation can offer significant benefits, there are situations where supplementing with betaine hydrochloric acid and enzymes can create symptoms. An example will be if you have severe gastritis and or stomach ulcer where your stomach lining is exposed and compromised. So your stomach normally produces a special mucin layer that protects itself from its own acid. If that lining is compromised, your stomach lining could be exposed to its own acid leading to burning and discomfort. So if you take a supplement that introduces more acid like betaine hydrochloric acid and you feel burning or discomfort in the stomach, it's not the supplement that's the problem. It's your stomach lining that's compromised. In this case, you'll want to heal the stomach lining first until such time you can tolerate the acid supplement. Now you can heal the stomach lining with a product called GI Resuscitate, which is a supplement that I use to help not only with leaky gut, but also to heal the stomach lining. Now you can also use other natural compound that's found in GI Resuscitate, such as deglycerized licorice root, mastic gum, bismuth, and zinc carnosine to help heal the stomach lining. Now, if there's H. pylori infection, then you'll want to reduce pathogen load, either with antibiotic therapy prescribed by your physician and or in conjunction with natural antimicrobial herbs, such as found in GI Detox Pro. In fact, your ability to tolerate enzyme HCL Plus tells you that you're doing better and your stomach lining is healing. Now, how long should you take digestive enzyme and HCL support? Well, duration can vary depending on individual needs and responses. However, based on the fact that digestive secretion decreases with age, ongoing supplementation may be necessary for some, especially if you experience digestive symptoms on a regular basis. Now, unlike taking hormone replacement medications, which has a negative feedback loop, which carries with it concerns about overdose and shutting down your own body's production, digestive enzyme and stomach acid does not have a negative feedback loop, and therefore, supplementation does not shut down your own body's production. I have many patients taking digestive support, such as Enzyme HCL Plus, ongoing, and has only benefited them long-term. Now, in conclusion, understanding and addressing changes in your digestive system as you age is crucial for maintaining overall health. Ongoing assessment with an experienced functional medicine doctor may help you to determine your best supplement protocol for best results. Through strategic supplementation, we can support your digestive process, ensuring better nutrient absorption and overall well-being. Now, let me know in the comments if you got value from this video. Please give me some love and smash that like button. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not done so already so you can get notified when I release new content that will help you be at your best. God bless you. See you in the next video.